Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Khumsaran Peculiar and today we're working a pyramid pattern. And we're doing a face down, half right angled pyramid pattern as seen on the image. There's a saying that goes, there are multiple ways of killing a cat. So for this code, we'll be solving it with multiple solutions just in one video. Yes, I'll show you how different ways to solve in this problem. Yet all these solutions will be done using a loop. Remember that with repetition instances, we use loops to avoid writing one line code with multiple, multiple times. So now let's open our IDE and get started. I have three ways in which we can solve our problem today. You may add any other way which we can solve this pattern problem. I really love getting responses from you on either the comment box or on our email address gg.ntehelang at gmail.com. We will be working differently today. How so, you may ask? Well, we always start off with declaring variables and then moving on to the input and then to the output and then so on. But for the purpose of explanations, we'll be flowing with the brainstorming today. So we'll be moving up and down the code lines today. But let that not cause you to worry, as this is just to allow you to understand the solution better. I'll start off with a simple solution first. Let's observe our image. We have five rows. And for every row, we see that we are outputting stars. In the first row, we have output of stars. The second row has the output of stars. The third row has its output of stars and so on. So a loop is going to be used here for the rows because we're seeing a pattern here. Every row has output of stars. Now to the displaying of the stars. Let's observe. At the first row, we have five stars. At the second row, we have four stars. At the third row, we have three stars. And at the fourth row, we have two stars. And at the fifth row, we have one star. Now watch this carefully. The row value increases and the, and the stars values decreases. But both have the ranges from 1 to 5. The minimum of the rows is 1 and the maximum is a 5. And with the patterns observed, the minimum displays stars is 1 and the maximum is 5. First row displaying 5 which is the max and the fifth row displaying 1 which is the minimum. Now we can have this this way. Instead of starting the rows at 1, we can have them start at 5 like this. 4 int row start at 5. Then it will have row 5 4 3 2 1. Since it's 5 4 3 2 1, so it means we'll be decreasing by 1s. Row minus minus. With this, we have row at 5, then at 4, then at 3, at 2, and then at 1. This has changed nothing out of our program. We just now have written our range in a different way. After all, we don't need that for output. Outputting content, specific content, but just to maintain rows. Having done this, we can have our row 5, display 5 stars, row 4, since now it decrements display 4 stars, row 3, display 3 stars, row 2, display 2 stars, by having our loop for display depend on the row. Now our loop for display will go like display the minimum of 1 and max star depends on the row at row 5 display 5 stars and so on an increment. We see out without an end line so that the next star is displayed next to the one displayed in a row. We will only have an end line after leaving the printing star loop, which will allow for the next row to start on the new line. And there. Now let's test our code before moving on to the next solution. There we have our pattern. Now let's move on to our next solution where we'll be using the set with function. As I mentioned that we'll be using the set with function, so let's include the 
relevant header file clear are you manip let's separate with a nice message and spacing here Now we have already observed our image and have seen that we have 5 rows and the, the print is from a max of 5 to 1 decreasing rowly. Now let's look at this image with respect of the width. We say the print decreases rowly. What if we could say the width decreases rowly? Such that we say at row 1 the width is 5 and at row 2 the width is 4, at row 3 the width is 3 and so on. This will be very simple. So let's write the loop for the rows. Row starting at 1. And ending at 5. And so it keeps increasing by 1. So we just said we'll be decreasing by width for every row. At row 1, we print width 5. And at row 2, we print with 4 and so on decreasingly. So see out, set width to 5, and the width will be filled with stars. But we can't be having 5, a 5 in there. As we will have 5 stars for every row. We need a variable that will make sure that the width decreases with each row. We will call it print with a double T, because print is a reserved word in C++. Now let's declare it. It's an int. So that with each row, width reduces by one, Let's decrement here. And then we have our second solution. How it flows is this. At row 1, the width is a 5, so it will display that 1 star and the 4 spaces will be filled by stars. Then at row 2, width is 4, so it will display this 1 star and the 3 spaces of the width will be filled with stars. And so on. Now let's run our second solution and see. Great! Successful code. Let's move on to our final solution. Let's separate with a nice message and spacing as well here. This solution is not that different from the one we just moved from. Just that here we don't use the width, but they are quite similar. So we already know the logic for the row loop. I'll just write it in here. For When we observed the picture, we learned that at row 1, we have 5 stars, row 2 has 4 stars, row 3 has 3 stars, and so on, which we equated the rows as column in the first solution. But here we won't have to. Since the stars decrease from 5 with every row, we can have the initial display value outside the loop like we had for our previous solution. We have the display value decrease for each row like we had with the width. So declare the variable here. And the loop will say for minimum display is 1. 1 star. 
and the maximum display will be by the display variable and add an increment and output so the flow goes like this add throw one and add star one two three two five you will display five stars then end line to the next row then display as a new value which is now a four then at row two and star is a one two three four which is until display row display four stars then end line to the next row display now has a value three is decremented and that goes on until row five now let's run our code and see great work give yourself a pat in the back congratulations you've successfully completed a patterns with multiple ways of attempting it that's all for me today guys see you on our next video